Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy here at Inland Kenworth in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at a truck. Uh, it is a heavy spec logging unit. We just got it in. I haven't done anything to the truck yet in terms of uh, cleanup or uh, any customization at all. So let me show you what we got and we're going to do a before and after video. So stick around in the next couple weeks to see how this truck turns out in the end. So I uh, hope the audio turns out okay for you too. It's a little, uh, little, <laughs> there goes uh, Gurmy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hope this audio turns out okay for you. We are outside and, uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at this truck. So this is a 2021 heavy spec W900 L logger. L stands for long hood. So you have a little bit more space right in there. Now uh, I'll just take a quick look up front here, show you what we got going on. We have the heavy duty bush bumper up front here. So this is a boxed in bumper and yes, I know it is dirty. That is the point. It's a dirty truck review. <laughs> uh, you can see the back end is boxed in. I'm planning on hanging some mud flaps from the front here just to kind of give it that uh, old school look, which looks kind of cool. We have a uh, 16K rating on the front axle, 20,000 pound rated axle with a 16,000 pound spring. And those are on uh, 385 wide base steer tires. 385 indicates millimeters width, how wide the top is. <clears throat> That's what that stands for. We have LED marker lights on the fenders and uh, it is a sunny day, but uh, you can notice here a little bit about a little bit of that uh, sparkle. I wonder what color that is. I'm not going to tell you until next video, but uh, I'd like to see what your guesses are down below. Take a wild guess. If you know anything about some of the trucks I've been doing lately, that might be a clue. <coughs> So looking up front here, we have the additional ribs in the grill just to stiffen it up. I put in this additional bar down here just to make it easier to open a hood hinge reinforcement. And we got the center mount tow pin. We put the uh, elephant ears over top of the air intakes and the air intakes are the 15 inch uh, air cleaners. I put motorized mirrors with uh, lights up on top. Now it's missing a visor. I'm going to be putting a visor on it as well. Uh, looking to shift products for something like that, I'm thinking. And uh, we got LED marker lights up on the roof with the air horns as well. Now the beacons are not up on there. I have the beacon brackets. We had a supply issue at the factory getting LED beacons from uh, our supplier. And just recently we've been able to re-add them from the factory but uh, this truck didn't make it. So uh, we had to, we we're gonna have to put that on here after the fact. Now along the side here, I ordered uh, painted and painted. So we deleted that chrome panel that goes in there. And we put the permit panel right there in chrome. Diamond plate, battery box. We did the polished def cover, polished uh, fuel tanks. And uh, those are the seven inch wide fuel tank straps. So you get optimum ground clearance underneath. Great for a logging unit. Uh, we have the stainless steel half fenders from the factory. I'm not really a fan of where they get installed because they're so far away. I usually will get the shop to adjust it and put it onto a, a bolt on, on this uh, Hendrickson suspension just to kind of close that up a little bit more. Uh, we have a clean back wall. Uh, headache rack's going to go back, back up on there. And uh, well, it's not clean, it's dirty, but what I mean is there's no lights on the back wall. We have marker lights on the side of the sleeper and that is a 62 inch aero cab flat top sleeper is what they uh, classify this sleeper as. We have 46,000 pound rear ends, uh, Hendrickson Primax suspension and that is the 60 inch axle spacing or axle spread. It's a 244 inch wheelbase. Uh, this fifth wheel is a 48 inch, sorry, 36 inch uh, slide fifth wheel. And it's got the dual uh, dual locking system here. 
uh, 70 ton rating. So this is a heavy duty fifth wheel on there. It's a little chilly. Got aluminum rims all the way around. Bridgestone L320, so those are a big luggy tire. And then uh, the Dana Spicer 46K rear axle, of course, with full four-way locking differentials. Uh, we put disc brakes on it all the way around, so you got disc brakes on the back, disc brakes up on the front as well. <coughs> and uh, we have a larger fuel tank here on this side. So uh, we have a 135, and I believe the other one is a 75 gallon, and they line up really nice on the back here too. Gotta love this green color. I haven't done a truck in green in quite a while. I'm really uh, impressed with how this truck looked. Turns out, excited to see when it's done too. Uh, dual exhaust, obviously. All your emissions are mounted in this uh, toolbox here. And uh, let's open up the hood and show you what we got under there, underneath there. Look at that sparkle. Love it. Love it. Nice thing with the box bumper, you get these little steps. There we go. So under the hood here, we have the Performance Series Cummins, the X15. It's a 565, 1850 torque rating. We put uh, the uh, fender support brackets on the side here. We did the uh, threaded bushing so your, your front pins are greasable. Right down there, threaded pins. Option from the factory. We did the remote loop terminal and then the remote boosting terminal as well. And then like I said, disc brakes up on the front also. Uh, we have dual power steering boxes here, rated for, I believe these are 20,000 pound rating on it. And uh, yeah, that's about it on this side. Let's go around the other side and take a peek. So I've had some people comment on this. Uh, why is this dented? It's actually supposed to be like that. It's it's designed and manufactured like that. Uh, I'm assuming it's to get around this frame right there, but that is supposed to be there in case anybody is asking. <laughs> All right, uh, we got the turbo. Like I said, dual power steering box. So there's the additional power steering gear right there. And, uh, or, or box rather. And uh, yeah, let's close up the hood and show you what we got inside. All right. So again, this uh, is just how it came in from the factory. We did a pre-delivery inspection on it. We still have to uh, finish up a few things, but we ordered the trucks with the uh, Air Cushion Premium Plus leather seat on the driver's side. We have a toolbox seat on the passenger side. So, and then we got uh, the full gauge package across the dash here. And uh, it has these trailer lift axles. So this is going to be going away here soon. It's uh, in the areas where we operate, trailer lift axles are regulated differently. So it's probably one of the last trucks that I'll be selling with that option on there. And uh, yeah, it's got the leather wrapped smart wheel with the cruise control, Jake brakes right in there. And then uh, here is the wiring for the secondary, sorry, that is a, the switch for the uh, marker lights on the back, the, the floodlights. There's the lights on the mirrors right up there. And then there's a third one. That one is just a switch and wiring so that you can run a, uh, a light up on a headache rack if you choose. As far as the interior lights right there, we got the bunk light right there. We'll just turn those on for the tour. And then, like I said, full gauge package all the way across. So here is that uh, new radio. It's a Sirius XM in there. And uh, I did a tour on how to pair that just a few weeks ago. So if you want to check that out, uh, if I remember, I'll put the link up in the video. Uh, so this is a vinyl seat, but uh, if you order a leather seat for the driver, you can't order a leather toolbox seat. So if you go with a black vinyl, it, it kind of gives a very close match. 18 speed manual transmission. And then uh, of course, a split windshield. There is the diamond tucked VIT interior. 
and uh, we have an option for a CB radio. I order it with just this kit so that it makes it easy to plug in power for, let's say, your uh, FM two-way radio. All you got to do is run your antenna. And uh, that's a little bit about the cab. Let's take a look in the bunk here. We got rubber floor in the bunk. And uh, with a 62 inch sleeper, you get open cabinets and shelves with the diamond interior. There is no option to have cabinet doors. You gotta go up to the 72 inch in order to get those in this sleeper. Uh, same thing with the fridge. Uh, there is a option to put a power outlet. Sorry, I forgot my light in the office, but uh, there is an option to get a power. Can't see if it's in here or not. Yes, it is. So there is the, uh, right there. Sorry, you guys can't see that, but uh, it is there. <laughs> and then we got all your uh, shelves up here. Dual uh, exterior windows on both sides. And then there's a uh, power outlets, cigarette lighter, garbage can. And then over here, factory S-Par heater for the sleeper and uh, heat controls for the bunk. There's your fridge switch and then the lights in the bunk here and the panel light as well. So not really gonna do a whole lot of changes inside the cab. Uh, gonna keep it pretty, pretty standard in here, I would think. So uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so that's it for this week's video. I know this was a really dirty, not clean, not your typical presentation of this truck, but uh, I wanted to bring something to you guys here this week as opposed to just skipping the week altogether. Uh, but it's kind of fun to see before and after. So when I show this truck again, it'll have a visor on it. It will uh, be all done up and, and ready for the bush. Uh, if you are interested in buying this truck uh, in the meantime and customizing it the way you want, by all means, give me a phone call. Uh, Canadian customers only, unfortunately, I can only sell in Canada, uh, not into the US as far as new trucks is concerned. Uh, if you want to check out what we have in inventory, click up here. You can go to my website, thekenworthguy.com. Uh, it links you to all the inventory that we have for sale at Inland Kenworth here. And uh, you can also subscribe to this uh, video channel here. If you haven't done that already, please do that. Click down there where it hits subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Despite the fact that the truck is dirty, still give it a thumbs up. If you're giving it a thumbs down, I know you're not impressed with my lack of cleaning abilities. So uh, anyways, that's it. Short video today. We are going to be bringing more to you here in the coming weeks. Happy December. Glad we are uh, kind of finishing up this year and hopefully life can get back to normal here before too long. So I'm rambling again. <laughs> so I got to go sell some trucks. So I'm going to go back into the office. Have yourself a great day. And as always, have yourself the world's best day. My tongue is tied today. I'm just having a real hard time. <laughs> so, hey, what would you like to see customized on, let's say a logging truck, a uh, headache rack? Um, you know, you, you tell me what your, your thoughts are, but okay, I'm done. Video out, I'm out. Back to work, Andy. Done. <laughs>